Bakugo just did the impossible. He beat all for one, not with a new weapon, not with some secret power-up, but with his blood and sweat, literally, the guy turned perspiration into pure explosions. His body doesn't leak water, it leaks nitroglycerin, the same chemical used in dynamite. So, how does a human body even survive something like that? Let's break down the science of explosive sweat. Normally, your sweat glands, called eccrine glands, secrete 99% water mixed with salt. It's your body's natural cooling system. When you overheat, you sweat. It evaporates and you chill out. Bakugo's biology completely hijacked. His quirk gene mutated those palm glands. Instead of releasing water, they secrete a nitroglycerin-like compound, glycerol trinitrate, a real chemical used to make dynamite. The crazy part, the reaction that ignites it, is internal. His palms produce the chemical, then a spark generated from friction and kinetic energy triggers combustion, and the more adrenaline his body releases, the more sweat he produces. His sympathetic nervous system, the same one that kicks in when you're scared or angry, literally fuels his explosions. That's why Bakugo fights best when he's fired up. But there's a cost. Every detonation burns energy, water and electrolytes. Overuse can lead to dehydration, cramps and muscle fatigue. And in winter, he even says it, he needs to warm up because cold weather suppresses sweat gland activity. No sweat, no boom. Bakugo's power didn't stop there. His body adapted. Through training, he forced his sweat glands to grow, what biology calls hypertrophy. Basically, when he exposed his palms to extreme heat and pressure over time, his body responded by increasing gland size and capacity, more glands, more nitroglycerin, bigger blasts. Then came his quirk awakening, what the manga calls the cluster ability. Suddenly, explosions could come from anywhere on his body, not just his hands. Biologically, this means his sweat glands spread across his skin. The overstressed palm glands triggered a mutation that replicated sweat-producing cells throughout his body. It's the same principle as muscle adaptation. Stress it enough, it evolves to survive. That's how in the battle against All for One, Bakugo hit a speed no one had ever seen from him. He was detonating micro-explosions across his body, propelling himself faster than AFO could react. Each burst was like a mini thruster, letting him chain rapid-fire explosions for offense and evasion. It's not just flashy animation, it's biology on overdrive. Here's the problem. Explosions generate shock waves and heat. A normal human body would be torn apart. So Bakugos had to adapt, completely start with the skeleton. Years of combat stress caused his osteoblasts, the cells that build bone, to become hyperactive. Result, denser bones capable of absorbing the recoil from his own blasts. Next, his muscles. They're stacked with fast twitch fibers, the kind used for quick, explosive movement. And his cells recover insanely fast from lactic acid buildup, meaning he can keep detonating without locking up. Then the skin. His epidermis is thicker, loaded with reinforced keratin, acting like a heat shield. Cannon even confirms he's resistant to his own explosions. That's not luck, that's genetic adaptation. And it's why his ultimate move, the howitzer impact, doesn't tear him apart. By channeling every drop of that explosive sweat into a single point, he creates a focused combustion vortex, basically a controlled human missile. But what makes Bakugo fascinating isn't just his biology. It's how he learned to control it. His quirk literally rewards aggression. The angrier he gets, the more adrenaline flows, the more he sweats, the more power he generates. For years, that made him volatile. Every emotion was a trigger, but in the fight against all for one, he didn't just fight angry, he fought in control. Every explosion was calculated, precise, the culmination of everything he learned from Deku, from All Might, from every loss before this one. He didn't just sweat nitroglycerin, he sweated out fear, doubt and restraint. Bakugo's body is a weapon, built to explode, built to survive it, and finally, built to win. If you like this breakdown, check out our video on Rees, another walking explosive, powered by biology instead of fantasy. Take care and stay sharp.